Private party, or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the night runners. There'll be one of us someday, Aiden. We'll make a decent runner, won't he, Lawan? Huh? Oh, the best. But as for today, hey, everyone, I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan officially and forever a night runner. The fuck yes! Hey, Luan, you Get the fuck out! Give him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean... So, you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you... <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Lawan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! in you to serve a cause greater than myself today i am forged anew to serve a cause greater than myself i shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind i shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind i shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again i shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again i shall be the light in the darkness i shall be the light in the darkness this is my sacrifice this is my sacrifice this is my pledge this is my pledge as a night runner as a night runner <laughs> I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone, back down to the bar. Aiden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. I... We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, seems serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. So, congratulations. Sorry for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. So you're officially a night runner. How's that feel? <laughs> so strange. For so long, it was just Frank. And the night runners were just a ghost story of his. Now, 
We're like a fucking Insta family. Even hack on for fuck's sake. Can you believe it? Yeah, having hack on back must be weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. Spent so much time wanting to kill him. But maybe, you know, maybe I never did because I never really wanted to. Maybe all I ever wanted was to stop hurting. Well, um, are you hurting now? Not really. Itchy, maybe. Like, when an infection's healing. But I'm not in pain for the first time in... I don't know how long. Luan, I... I was worried. <sighs> Here it comes. When you left, after... Um, after your place, I... Hack-ons and my place. <laughs> yeah, I can say that now. If I can say that, then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. Of course I do, especially now. I mean, I'll take it from a pilgrim. Happy people are vulnerable people. <laughs> Aren't you a buzzkill? No, it's just that after everything, I just, I just don't want to see you hurt again. <laughs> Next time I get hurt, I ain't gonna piss around so long before I kill the fucker. I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business. When I took you there. <laughs> Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me, and Frank, all this, your business. And look how much all of us have gained. Maybe I... I wanted you to know. But I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. And so... We went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. I've... I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Sometimes I... Envy her. Envy her? How? That... She means so much to someone. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. No, no, you're not, though. Just shut up. Thank you. Frank's got something for you, Aiden. Yeesh. No one. They're waiting for you downstairs. I'm coming, Hakon. Fuck. You... Go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now, I think I just gotta do my thing. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Eh, kid? Uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for. Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE. And I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. You can probably find her somewhere around the church. I have more to tell you, Luan. Oh yeah, talk to me, son. Hakon. Aiden, what did you say to her? What did you do? Wait, <laughs> what? Why? She was quite... Uh... Well, let's just say she was in no mood for celebration. I tried following her, but you know her, Aiden. If she doesn't let you, you won't ever find her. Aider? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Getting lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfuck. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. 
Now, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Wolves for killing my men, for killing Lucas, and him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only your teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them makes me stronger. And I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, oh yeah. Get lost. God, I hear PKs were no senses after all. Secret tunnel in the metro. Have you seen the one? There's still some booze left, I'm sure. Well, I think there is. No, listen, I I'm looking for Luan. But she was with you, on the roof. And then she left and came here. Here? Here, yes, Jesus. Have you seen her or not? Yeah. Well, you have? When? Did she leave? <laughs> I saw her with you, on the roof. Yes, I... I know that. Yes. Uh, okay. Never mind. Enjoy the party. Hey, you too, Aiden. <laughs> Frank, have you seen Luan? Did she leave? Yeah, uh, that was strange. She seemed upset. Did she say anything? Where, where was she going? No, sorry. No clue. Uh, she's a night runner now, you know. It's a big deal. Uh, she's not here, so she probably went back to her place. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Take all the time you need, Lawan. Just come back soon. <laughs>